Today, we're back with more Fortnite, and yesterday there was a massive update to the game 3.5 brought a bunch of stuff to pvp and pve and today we're going to be talking about the pve side of things as you guys know that i really like pve and that's kind of where i spend most of my time at in fortnite but if you guys don't know the servers are down for the game and have been down for a while and so i can't bring you any footage of any of this stuff unfortunately but we can still talk about it because it's Kind of a big update and has brought some really cool things. So first and foremost, there were some new cyberpunk heroes that were added. The theme of this update for the Save the World is kind of like neon, like everything's futuristic looking. And so we've got these four new cyberpunk futuristic looking guys and um, it's pretty they, they look like they're gonna be pretty good I don't know how much I will play any of them maybe the ninja class because you guys know I like ninja the most uh, but then there's also a ton of new neon weapons as well so first and foremost we've got bullet storm Jonesy who's a new soldier subclass and he has bullet storm which uses high magazine weapons to build up attack speed and mow down enemies the new perks for him are startup which is firing with a ranged weapon increases rate of fire by 1.2 percent per shot up to 20 shots resets on reload or weapon switch then start faster which is increases startup rate of fire bonus to 2.4 percent per shot Next up we have Harvester Sarah who is a new ninja subclass and it's kind of interesting because I've used sites before but I haven't really like used them a lot just because I haven't really found them all too interesting with the way that they swing and stuff like that but this could make me want to use it because Harvester is a close range scythe ninja who uses smoke bomb and shadow stance to survive on the battlefield and the new perks are Scythe Tomichu which is scythe attacks apply a 30% snare for one second that's really interesting and then late arrival sites deal 48 percent increased damage to slowed or snare targets so you've got these two perks working together in sync and it could be pretty deadly and so this could make me really want to use sites as well as his class so thus why i always say you know i like using ninjas the most and so i will probably wind up using this a lot then we have Heavy Base Kyle, who is a new Constructor subclass, and Heavy Base is Constructor focused on taking down enemies with base to charge up a great energy nova. That sounds pretty awesome. The new perks are Feel the Base. <laughs> base generates energy while enemies die within the area affected by base. After 30 kills, base emits an explosion that knocks husks back and deals damage in a 3 tile radius. It kind of seems like a tank, you know, like pretty beefy, <laughs> which is awesome. Turn up the base is, the is another perk, and this increases the radius of feel the base by two tiles and damages and damage by 80%. Like, what the heck, dude? This, these, these heroes are pretty stacked, man. New tactical perk is the exact same as feel the base. Uh, okay, so that's it for heavy base Kyle. And then we have Ted Shot Jess, which is a new Outlander subclass and seems to be focused around sniping. Ted Shot is it, where it deploys Teddy to provide cover fire while sniping foes from a distance. The new perks are Quick Scope, which is increases sniper rifle rate of fire by 35%. That's kind of a lot. Precision Handling, hitting a headshot increases the speed of your next reload by 7% with a max of 35% and resets after reloading. That's kind of huge. Eye on the prize, getting 15 headshot kills grants one charge fragment. That's that's kind of awesome, you don't have to go anywhere. Uh, and then the new support perk is Sure Shot, which it increases sniper rifle critical hit damage by 35%, 53%, and 70%. And these new these new freaking heroes are stacked with uh, abilities and perks, man. They sound freaking awesome. And then, like I said, there are a bunch of new neon weapons, which I'm the most excited about because I want new weapons all the time. I want new things because I want to experiment and try new things and just have, like, more fun in the game doing various different things. And these new neon weapons sound crazy, man. Okay, so the first one is the axe, the neon axe. This is a slow swinging axe that deals energy damage, making it relatively effective against all elemental f enemies up and over is a two strike heavy attack that deals significant damage and knockback 
Then we have the Neon Scythe, which looks awesome. I love the look of these things, man. This is a quick weapon that cleaves enemies in a wide arc. A quick weapon. Deals energy damage, which is fairly effective against elemental enemies. Whirlwind Attack is a heavy attack that spins around several times, damaging and knocking back nearby foes. I'm pretty excited about this. I really want to get this new Scythe and the new Ninja class and try them together because they sound like they could be a great combination and you could cause some serious control. Maybe not a, a ton of damage, but controlling your uh, like massive mobs. Like It could be really nice. Next up is the Krypton Sword, which is interesting. Why do they say, why does it say Slicer on the blade? Either way, uh, Slicer is a cool name, and so is Krypton Sword. Uh, but this is a Neon Sword, guys. I'm super excited about swords because I'm always looking for more swords. This is an energized blade with a moderate swing speed and great sustained damage. Deals energy damage, which is fairly effective against all elemental types. Quad chop a series of heavy attacks that deal increased damage and knockback. I don't know about you guys, but in my opinion, the swords in this game look the coolest. Uh, and then also, the sniper looks amazing as well, which we'll look at here in a second. But I'm super excited about this, like I said, because I'm always looking for new swords. The Krypton Sword, Slicer, whatever you want to call it, is going to be pretty freaking sweet. And I love the look of this thing, and I cannot wait to use it. Next up, we have the Argon Assault Rifle. This is a Neon Assault Rifle that shoots highly accurate energized rounds at a moderate rate for high sustained damage. Deals energy damage, which is fairly effective against all types. Uh, shoots highly accurate energized rounds. So I'm assuming most of these use the energy ammo. Uh, but that's kind of interesting. Shoots highly accurate energized rounds at a moderate rate. I, I'm just really curious to see what this is actually like because... I, I, I'm looking for a new assault rifle too. I'm um, just like always kind of looking for uh, more things. This has a, it says it has a magazine size of 30, which we'll see how that actually works. And uh, I, I just don't know. I'm curious to see what you guys think about. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these new weapons. Have you had a chance to even use them yet, or have you been kind of waiting around suffering like I have with the uh, servers being down? Just really curious to see to hear your thoughts. Next up, we have an LMG, Mercury LMG. This is an assault rifle. It's a high damage light machine gun that's good for sustained fire due to moderate rate of fire and huge magazine size. Uh, very inaccurate when firing on the move. Deals energy damage, which is fairly against all, uh, fairly effective against all types. So I haven't really used LMGs too much, but I have been really interested in using more of them because like occasionally i'll find an lmg in a chest and you know it's like actually really fun to use uh but extremely inaccurate just eats through ammo so i'm really curious to see what this is like because it is a high damage light machine gun um has a moderate rate of fire so it could be good because every one that i've got has been like insanely quick firing and uh kind of just eats through ammo for it to be effective you know what i mean and so i'm curious to see what this is like and uh it, it, do you guys think you're going to use this just i'm just interested next up is the noble launcher this is a heavy weapon that fires a wave of piercing energy this is where it gets interesting guys we're going to start noticing this with uh this this and the sniper here in a second but piercing energy okay it can be fired normally for a narrow half tile wide pulse or charged for a one tile wide or two tile wide blast it deals energy damage which is fairly effective against all types so the biggest things here are the ability to like use it in two different ways and charge it up but then also the piercing energy now i don't i'm not sure if this is the same as the sniper but the piercing aspect of it as you're going to see with the sniper is that it can shoot through things like walls and stuff so i'm curious to know if this does as well uh i'm just <laughs> this could be really freaking awesome Okay, let's just jump to the sniper, the neon sniper rifle. This is a scoped weapon that can detect enemies through walls. Okay, okay. Can detect enemies through walls. And then this weapon can pierce enemies, walls, or any other objects in the way. Okay, you could shoot through walls. With the, the, it's a freaking rail gun. You can shoot through walls and detect enemies through walls and then... It doesn't matter what's in your way. You can shoot through it. Okay? 
So this is the one thing that I'm unsure about, and I, I wish I could test it for myself, but I don't know if that piercing aspect carries over to these other weapons, like the launcher, and then also the shotgun, which we're going to look at here in a second. Um, I, I, I'm, I don't know. And so um, this is one aspect of these new weapons that I'm like, what the crap? These are insane. And so uh, I definitely want to get this sniper, and there's a reason why it's in the event shop for like 2,000 uh, tickets or 2,000 currency or whatever um and so it's very important and they know it and they know that people are going to want it and so they put it in so you can easily get it and so um and that's really freaking sweet man so next up is the helium shotgun which is a neon shotgun fires piercing energy slugs that deal high damage at a moderate rate of fire short range and limited magazine size the mag size on this is 12 which is not I mean, compared to some other ones, you know, like the dragon one is like five or something. And so that's not too bad, actually. It's it's 12 is OK. And so we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, we'll see what this is like and how it does. I think, uh, as always, um, the three things that I'm always looking for. Well, I should say, yeah, three things are a sword, a shotgun and an assault rifle. Those like I constantly want new ones just to figure out which ones I like the best. And because there's always something with each one that I'm like, Ugh. I, I, it's okay, but it's not amazing. You know what I mean? Uh, I've only had like one sword that I'm like, this is freaking sweet. Uh, but anyway, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about this. And then the last one is a little Krypton pistol, which I never even used pistols in this game. Uh, but this shoots energized rounds at a rapid rate of fire, sustained at high sustained damage. And so, um, I'm, I don't know if it's a burst shot or whatever, but it's only got a max size of 10. So it's pretty limited. Um, just interested to see if people even use this or what their thoughts are going to be on this. Uh, but yeah, guys, in the comments below, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what which weapons you're looking forward to most, as well as which heroes you're looking forward to using most. And hopefully, sometime soon, the servers will come back up and I can actually get some gameplay footage for you of these things. I'm really excited about them. Hopefully, you guys are as well. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. Things are going well for you. I'll see you in the next one.